YouTubers? Yeah, we've got a YouTube channel. That's sick, I'm gonna follow you guys. Cool, we're called Paddleheads. That was a nice little paddle in. We are in Queen Elizabeth II Wildlands right now, which is a type of park where you don't have to get any permits. So that's sweet, it's kind of first come first serve. But we asked Kevin Callan about this place and he told us, go to this lake and there's big bass. So we are gonna find out if there are big bass in this lake or if Kevin's just a liar and he's sending us on a wild goose chase. He's a liar. We know, we know he can, he's, he has the ability to lie, so. He's been known to embellish. Embellish, yes, that's a great word for it. This whole trip is big bass, big bass, big bass. We don't care about small bass. We won't be celebrating small bass. We'll just be saying, hi, nice to meet you, kiss them goodbye and send them on their way. Big bass, big bass. Thanks for starting with the canoe there, bud. Anything for you, honey. You're doing great, by the way. Ultralight canoe helps. For sure. We got this sweet ultralight canoe from Frontenac Outfitters. This is part of their rental fleet and they got a ton of awesome canoes just like this. So check them out if you're looking for a rental and you're in the area. Did I ever tell you that you're my hero? You're everything I would like to be. How do I look from the back? Uh, better. Something doesn't belong. Can you guess what it is? One of these things is not like the other. Just a shorty. 200 meters apparently. I don't think so. No, actually this is saying 700. Yeah. You want to take the bridge? Nope. Hmm, maybe not. I doubt you can see the mosquitoes chasing me, but they're ferocious. They haven't been bad so far, but this portage seems to be the worst. Last portage though. Sweet. Is there anything left? Nope. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm starving. Me too. Glad the portages are done though. Yeah. Well, There's three sites on this lake. We were told one of them was better than the rest and somebody's on it. Well, we made it. Let's eat. I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what this campsite's like. Not the best campsite, but at least we're here for the fishing primarily. So hopefully we'll just spend more time on the water. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, we are gonna just have some snacks and then get out fishing. Adam feels like being a lone soldier though. Huh? I think I pissed him off. Huh? Huh? What? Nothing. Don't say my name. Say my name, say my name. You no know acting so kind of shady. Ain't calling me baby. Why the sudden games? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so happy right now. Be out here in the middle of the woods, fishing with my bud. Oh, I was nibbles. Oh, the big canoe gives us extra casting distance, I guess, eh? Oh, on. Big one. No, just- Large mouth. Little large mouth. All right, well, I got first fish. Ate the craw on a shaky head. Just a little largey. Let's see how big they get here. I'm almost set up back here. At least we know that Kevin's not a complete liar. There's at least bass in here. Yeah, can you get your fishing rod out of my friggin' way? Oh, both of them? I would really like that, yeah. I bet you would. You already got the bow seat, best fishing spot. I know, I can really stretch my legs out here. Oh, yeah. We got 18 feet here. Wow. Oh, 
Yeah, on. Nice. This one feels a little better, maybe. Not coming Can out. Can I get the net for this one, actually? Yeah, bring it on the, on the right. Are you going to net it for me? On the right. On the right? Okay. It's staying down. It might be a smallmouth. Bitch, it is. Yeah. Is it? No, it's a large mouth. Just another little one. Good fighting, though. This one's a little longer than the last. All right. It's an upgrade. You just keep catching those dinks, okay? Mm-hmm. Go oh, ahead, hit it right when it hit the water. It's a little one again. All right, so that's number three. Oh, no, it didn't get in the boat. It jumped. It spit the bait. On again. Just little ones. On. Feels better. Could just be in weeds. I think it's a combination of both. May have to control the boat here, Ben. It's all right. Yep. It's not great, but it's an upgrade from mine slightly. Little one. Well, at least they're hitting here. Yeah, for sure. Nice to get some action right away. And I'm happy to see largemouth. What the heck are you snacking up there without me? Want some? No, it's okay. Thanks, so. though. Catching fish. On. Nice. Number four. <laughs> Dink City. Let's stay on our side. We'll continue to map this area here and get it all down. You want? Yeah. Nice. Feels good. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay. All right, nice one. I wouldn't say it's big. I got one. Oh, do I still have it? Oh, I still have it. <laughs> that one's an all right one, eh? Yeah, I got a pretty good one in here too. That line went completely slack. Wow, thanks for playing, buddy. Almost lost you there. A little bigger. Yeah, it felt good to get that weight on there. Will he go for it again? Oh, oh, that's a big one, Ben. That's a big one. Thought you were bigger. These are like cookie cutter bass, dude. Where is your mama? Where's your mama? a little smaller. I'm hooking them all the same way, right in the side of the mouth. It's just slamming it. It's just bass after bass after bass. This one feels okay. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. You did it? Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, it's chunky. Oh, it's a good one. You ready? Yep. Here he comes. Oh, it's a good one. Get him in, get him in. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, damn. Keep diving. Yeah. Yes. Nice. That's a big one, dude. Oh man. <laughs> nice. That's all right. Yeah. I don't know if I can reach that. Oh, oh no. Let's get bigger. <laughs> That's a good bass, though. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, you done all right. Yeah, this one's all right. This one's this one's approaching big. This one's. It's like a two and a half pounder, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say it's on the edge of it's it's big. Two and a half, three. It could be bigger. Yeah. That's nice. See how much bigger they get in here, eh? That's awesome, dude. What'd you catch it on? Swim jig with the uh, paddle tail. See you, bud. Let me get right in that spot right there, that little pocket. Nope, outside of it, but that's fine. They've been up shallow though, dude. Yeah. Well, we haven't found huge ones up shallow. That one was a good size. I want giants. I, well, me too. Enough of these guys. A bass. It's not a bad one. Oh, he's got a big head. Oh, I saw that boil on it right when it hit the water. That is on the uh, Blackfly, Blackfly Lure Sickle Blade. This one was uh, fan created through Instagram. Everyone voted on the colors. It's oh, pretty sweet. Spit it. I'm fishing the pylon. You're going to catch one. Or I will. Fish in the pylon. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is sick. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. No, I saw okay. my line going, so I was like, set the hook on Adam. <laughs> Hang on. It really makes it feel like the wildlands with the 
the road cones. Yep. They're my favorite tree. Ben? Yep. I think it's time to upsize, buddy. Yeah, maybe I should try a different bait, eh? It's pretty amazing, man, how clunky spinnerbaits are, how well they come through weeds. For sure. Okay, maybe I'll take a look at my tackle box. Wow, that's a chatterbait. Is that one of the big ones you just got? Uh, kind of big, yeah. Like the heavier one? Yeah. Yeah. You cast right back in that little... Oh, nice. I, I did a, yeah. Jeez, pull a line. Yeah, I need the net, I think. You want me to land it? You got it. That's a good one. I think I got it. Nice. Yeah, all right one. Yeah, second cast with the chatterbait. All right, I'll stick with this for a little bit. Seems like the big bass are willing to hit moving baits, so that's a great news. Just Jim Dandy. Let's just be honest for a minute. It kind of seems like they'll hit anything. For sure, but like, it was only the small ones I was getting on the craws. There we go. Okay, that's better. I don't think that's my biggest of the day, actually, but it's all right. And uh, for a trailer, I'm actually just using a limestone lures ripple worm. <laughs> nice. Started? Yeah. Two for two. Bigger? It feels uh, all right. Even the small ones have been fighting real good, right? Yeah, they have been. It's not a huge one, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say anything when you catch a fish now? Sheepers. No, it's just like. Not oh, important, just expected. What's new? What's new? Just another little bastard. <sighs> Definitely weeding out the little ones. <laughs> I'm onto one tied on too. <clears throat> All right, well, what do you want to do? You want to head back and start cooking? I want to have a couple casts with the Mondo worm, and then yes, I do want to do that. Oh, <laughs> caught one on the Mondo worm. Nice. That's not a big bass for the Mondo worm. Fish on the sunfish. <laughs> You're nuts. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, dude. Good one? Yeah, definitely my biggest of the day. Oh, you got some teeth on you, too. Yeah, this one's, this one's got some chompers as well. The biggest I've caught. We're gonna have serious bass them. Even the little fish are hitting the big bluegill. No! How can we escape them? Wow, what an interesting rain. Mm hmm Sun shower, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. Okay, dinner time? Uh, one more cast. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Dude, that's the worst backlash I've ever seen. I've never seen one that bad. <laughs> Get a picture of that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice going. Okay, well, don't even try that right now. You can do that while I'm cooking. Well, I'm going to try and use us paddling away to help me get the more line out here. So I guess I am just going to paddle by myself. Yeah, you are. You got the wind to help you. <clears throat> dude, I got to cut this. There's no way. You can't cut it, dude. I've never seen a backlash that bad, though. Oh no, I'm on. I gotta hand line this fish in. Imagine it was the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Awesome last cast. Wraps consist of here. How am I making this? So I had a bit of rice. Rice. Chili. The the thick chili. Oh, so you, you made that thick, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no one wants runny chili in the wrap. No, I guess not. 
So thick with two C's. Yep. And uh, and meat. 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 Meat in a bag. This is just uh, salami, chopped up. I was gonna fry it, but I didn't, and decided that was fine. So. Yeah. Um, and then hot sauce. So oh, the rice didn't need salt, eh? Uh, no, it's fine. I mean, it could have used it, but it, it's not bad. Uh, so I've had two now, so help yourself. It's a spicy one. <clears throat> I like oh, it. yeah? I like it. Hmm. What are we doing, Ben? The lake is glass, the sun is setting, and the fish are eating on the surface. Let's go get them to bite. Oh, that was very, very epic. 20. 20, 20 inches. 20 or over. Anything other than that is tiny. First frog fish of the night. Then once you just use another rod so you can get fishing. Oh, nice. Not a big one, just a cookie. On the chatterbait. I had to slow it down for a quick second and then I got the hit. Double header. No, I lost mine. Oh, I lost mine too. <laughs> We're catching too many fish, not enough pigs. Mm -hmm. Just little ones. Yeah. I've never caught so many fish on the chatterbait in a single night. Double header. Oh, my came off. Oh, you lost it? Darn. Wow. My ass? Yeah, it did all that? Mm hmm Cheapers. Mm hmm Still working away at it. I hate you right now. Just settle down. I am not ready to get the boat. Settled. Can you see on the map if there's any good underwater structure at all yet? Right now we're just flat hard bottom. No, but I mean like up there. Yeah, so there's like a, a channel that leads up like a V right towards the, it's kind of in the center of that back bay. Let's go there. This feels so boring on bottom. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing going on here. I'm not ready yet, so. I'm not feeling grinding. I think it's mud down there because it's just smooth. It might be a layer of mud, but I mean, I'm getting- Like hard? Hard return. On. <laughs> nice. All right, well, my first fish of the day isn't a bad one. Little chunk. Just a little ch cookie cutter chunk, yeah. It uh, smacked the scrappy fluke on the float down. Nice job with the scrappy fluke. Just on a mushroom jig head there. Didn't take long once I got it into an area with fish. If you break 20 inches, I'll buy you a pack of uh, crispy or uh, crispers, jalapeno crispers. If I catch a 20 inch bass? Yeah, I'll, get, I'll, I'll buy you two packs of your fla favorite flavor of crispers. Doesn't have to be the jalapeno ones, because they were like, they're good. But I, thunk, I don't think they're like knock out of the park good. Not like salt and vinegar good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. For the record, Adam doesn't like salt and vinegar crispers. What is wrong with him? Do you like salt and vinegar chips? Yes. So why, what's wrong with the crispers? Well, they're obviously weird. They are strong, I find. They can give you like those mouth sores on the corners of your mouth. 
They're great. <laughs> sun protection, very important. Either sunblock, that's why I'm wearing the gloves and the mask today. You gotta protect yourself from the sun. You hear me? I'll tell your mom. I hear you. I wasn't talking to you. You never talk to me anymore. <laughs> we haven't really mapped out much at all of the other side of the lake. Yeah, mostly the other side of the lake and the middle. Part of what I'd like to do here today... <clears throat> oh, that's uncomfortable. Part of what I'd like to do here today is map out this lake. Before coming here, Ben and I were looking online and could not find any maps of the contours of this lake. Um, so thankfully, the deeper can do that for me. And I've been mapping everything out so far, so I'm going to continue to do that. And hopefully by the end of the weekend, I've got like a full map of the contours of this lake. Which is not for you, unfortunately, unless you get yourself a deeper. And then you can do this too. Link in the description. No, they're not hitting the crank. Oh, bluegill are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful one. It is. Wow. Look at the colors on you, Sonny. Shall we go for a paddle? Yeah. I'd like to go to the other side and start mapping out that, some of that side of the lake. On? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Followed it. On the goby. Nice chunk. A little bit bigger than our cookie cutters. I give that dive a 7 out of 10. Cashing decent ones on this uh, goby, man. Mm -hmm. I noticed. Not really too decent, but it's uh, something. Not a rinky dink. Slow rolling a duke on the very bottom might produce some big fish. I was doing that earlier. Rock. <laughs> wow, I've caught so many bass on this goby now. You can see that it's getting chewed up a little bit, but it's still holding on. Some great plastic there, Jeffrey. If you're interested in some limestone lures, check out the link below and use code PADDLEHEADS to save up to 10%. All right, snack time. First break, catching too many fish, man. A lot of work lifting them out of the water. Too bad they weren't big fish. You got a couple decent ones today on the goby. Yeah. Decent, yeah, but we're looking for big. Where are the big bass, Kevin? Where are the big bass? We know you're used to catching small fish. So it would make sense if you thought these are big bass, but I'll have to show you where the big big bass big. I'll have to show you where the big asses are. <laughs> <laughs> right here. It's like noon. Fish bite isn't going to be great. We want to have as much energy to slay him tonight. We're totally taking a nap. Want some lemon? Sure. So I think to get the big bass. I gotta fish slow and deep. I think I'm gonna stick with the big baits, man. Go low, slow, with those big baits, and uh, see if I can get a big Whoa, one. Whoa, man. What? Oh, those are some big bass. <sighs> uh, I had the strangest dream, man. Yeah? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. We're going fishing soon? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought about being a clown for Halloween? When are we going to go catch fish? <sighs> Let's go. Okay. We've got a larger mushroom jig head here, and I'm going to put this limestone lures ripple worm on here. I don't know if that's how I should have rigged it, but that's how I rigged it, so we're going to do that. Flat side up, sure. I'll get my measuring tape out and ready so I can measure my big fish. Yeah, because you need a number that's going to beat mine. Because I've, I've got the biggest fish so far. You got to beat 16 and a half. That's easy, man. That's a little fish. I know, but it's the biggest one we've seen this on this trip. That's, that's not true. Yeah, it is. You know that. How big was yours? Definitely bigger than that. I was so how big was it? I don't know how big it was. Well, then you can't that's say. The biggest one we've seen. You can't say it was the biggest one. I saw the bass you caught. 
caught. I saw the bass I caught. Do you think there's an incentive for me to like lie? Yeah. What is that? Uh, because you're known as being the worst angler, so you need every advantage you can get. Oh, there's gonna be a bass right here, I bet you. There's bass everywhere. Here, maybe they're not eating because it's midday. Because I'm so gay? Because it's midday. Oh, that's a bite. On. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's bigger than my last one. <laughs> nice. Oh, another 16 and a half. Nice. One of my biggest bass for the trips. Caught on a mushroom jig head with the ripple worm. Not a big one though. It's not a big one, Kevin. It's a nice one. It's not a big one. We have to hit at least 19 for us to save. Oh, you're hooked interestingly. Right in the bottom of the mouth. Sweet. They may not be trophies, but they sure are players. Wow. No? Is that not good of one? Okay. Look at that. Cast after cast after cast on the ripple worm. Well, since I've just spent the last 20 minutes rigging up, I'm gonna try and catch a couple of fish. Well, that'd be sweet. Because I've just caught, what, three now? Four in your time? Again, just little largies. It has such a nice glide down to the bottom. The very, s very slow spiral, yeah. Mm. Little bass. Trying a new color, the ripple worm. Something a little more subtle. Maybe the bigger bass want something a little more natural looking. Oh, I might have won for the smallest one so far. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one feels okay. Uh, I don't think it's too big. It's been a good fight. Well, I think this one's okay. Can you get the net? Nice, dude. Yeah. He swallowed that worm. Oh, why? It, it just, okay, stop for a second. I'll get it. Okay. Not a bad one. Nice colors. 16. Not quite enough to show Ben how to catch big fish. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go into that bay. Shut your mouth. This is a tried and true bait. You can't go anywhere and not catch fish with this. Specifically bass, but you mean it'll catch lots of stuff. So if you're looking for like a do-all, this is it. I second that. It's called a stick worm. You can rig it a few different ways and uh, maybe we'll link a video up here showing you that. In fact, we typically don't tie them on because we kind of feel like they're sort of cheating sometimes. It's like, of course you can catch them with a stick bait. <laughs> totally cheating. Yeah. Rather use something else than a stick bait. <laughs> but if you really want to catch bass. I want to catch big bass and I'll tell you what, I've caught some big bass on Sankos. True. Like it doesn't just catch small ones. Oh, dude. <laughs> Double header. <laughs> nice. Oh. Busters. Dude, I was bringing that Sanko in, skipping it along the top. That's awesome. How does that happen? Crikey. Oh, it feels like another good one. <laughs> Dude, for like a second, they put up a good fight. What'd you catch, Ben? <laughs> uh, nothing? What are you talking about? Nothing at all. Nothing happened there. Nope, didn't, that didn't happen. Caught a tree pounder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What happened there, Ben? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Just tried to push off and left my paddle behind. No, I've never done that. <laughs> yep. An all right one. Well. These bass would look big to a small man. All right. Oh, you got stuck on my thumb there. Where's the big bass? Oh, not so tiny actually. Oh my. Okay, this is a good fish. Yeah, that is a nice fish. Finally. You ready? Yeah. On the Mondo worm. Here we go. Yeah. It's coming up. 
Oh, that's a good one. Nice. This looks like a winner to me. That's a nice bass. Oh yeah, bud. Sweet, man. This is about the same size as the one I caught yesterday. If you say so. Yeah. 18. Nice. <laughs> Not quite 19, but close. So I don't know, are we gonna call that a big bass, Adam? Or is that just a really nice bass? That's a nice bass. Not a monster. He called them monsters. Hmm. Well, we'll see if there are any. I was on the Mondo worm. Yeah, and that one came like off, like deeper, like past the edge of the weeds. It wasn't right in them. I hope those kids find our channel and watch this video. That'd be awesome. You guys post on YouTube? Yeah, we do. We have a YouTube channel. Oh, so cool. that's why I recognize your face. Oh yeah? I've seen one. Oh, that's I've awesome. Seen one. Okay, go on. Cool. You good? Wait, have you guys seen fly fish? Yeah, I know, you got the biggest bass so far. That's fair. I wouldn't say that this lake has big bass yet. I think there's bigger ones. New rule, for the rest of the day, I'm only throwing my big baits. The duke, that big songfish, and maybe a spinner bait. Big, big baits only. I'm not messing around anymore, man. I'm well, not playing games. Adam's in a wildlife photographer. He's trying to sneak up on a beaver. There's a beaver over in the weeds, eating some weeds. Adam's trying to capture it. You can tell by his stance that he's a professional. He clearly knows what he's doing. He's so patient and calm and still, so that the beaver won't see him. Some people say he takes special medication so he won't sneeze in these moments. Well? Oh, this is boring. I'm out. Ouch. That's wet. Did you pee on that? Give me a little. Looks dece, bud. Looks dece. Oh, oh really? I squeezed it out on top of me. It's a good thing I brought a change of shirt. No, a change of pants, though. Don't squeeze Happy X. Public service announcement. Back at it again. Our last solid shot at a big bass. And again, a big bass for us would be 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 inches. inches. That's what we're going 20 for. 20 or over. 20 or over, you heard the man. Anything other than that is tiny. Oh. You get it? No. So we haven't mapped out the entire lake yet, but I'll show you here on screen what we have mapped out. And what oh, you want? Yep, Ben's on. Nice. So this is what we have mapped out so far. But um, Ben and I were looking at the map a little earlier on, at camp. And uh, it appears like there isn't actually much structure to this lake. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, there's a bite on the Duke. It doesn't appear to be much structure on this lake. It's basically a big basin. And that explains actually why we've been catching most of our fish, if not all of them, in the weeds, because that is the only cover on the lake. This has essentially helped us eliminate the rest of the lake, which is great. Now we can just focus on the weeds and catch more fish. Puny bass. Yeah, it's an all right one. All right, compared to the dinks I've been catching. Okay, I'm completely abandoning everything that I said I wasn't going to abandon. It's really slow tonight. I think it's honestly because we've been just catching so many fish all weekend. We've caught all the fish and they don't want to eat our lures anymore. But <clears throat> we've got a secret watchman right now. It's dead calm, very quiet. They seem to be eating moving baits. So I'm going to put on the chopo. 
See if we can get some blow ups to end the night. Blue Chapo. I was just reeling this in and that's a nice one. Oh, no. Nice. Nice. Feels decent. Well, this is my best one tonight. That's so cool. How small it is. Yeah. Pick them up. That's so cool. No, I just won't even be. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. He's so, I've never seen a snake so small. Neither have I. Can anybody in the comments tell us what kind of snake that is? Look at the size of it. Like. I mean, he's right on the trail, he gets stepped on. He's going right for you, he's gonna attack you. He's gonna get my nut. This slow poke. I'm always waiting on him. And he gives me crap for taking too long. And he pulls stuff like this. What a piece of. So, I didn't win. One nothing bait caster. Ooh, we gotta map out the lake. So, yeah, we gotta start at the top here. We just do some circles. All right, we just finished paddling around the entire lake. The entire map is filled in now. We have all the contours for this lake, which is super cool. And actually, if you have deeper premium, you can view this map and all the other maps that other people have created online. So that's a really cool feature. Good job, Ben. Mosquitoes. Having a long canoe is great for carrying gear, but not so good when you're traveling through narrow, tight forests. Yeah, I'm like bouncing off trees trying to fit through. Surprise, surprise, a tiny little bass. You just crossed my line. I got a bite. Got one. I'll try and bring it around the left side of the boat. See you later. You want a fish? Feels heavier, yeah. Oh, I don't think it's a fish. <laughs> it seriously fought at first. Yeah, it is a fish. Is it? Yeah. Big one? That's big enough. It. It's okay, one probably the biggest one today. Chunky little one and a half pounder. <laughs> yeah. Well, turns out uh, maybe Kevin wasn't lying to us. Maybe he just had small hands. Didn't get the big bass we were looking for, but we had a heck of a time slamming bass. Couldn't keep him off the line, amen. Eh, oh, that was awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching. Click that like button if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to see more. We'll catch you later. See ya.